before we start with our walkthrough, I have to say that I have some camera issues. Um, I don't know why, but uh, sometimes the video is a little bit blurring and the focus doesn't work. I don't know why I try to figure this out. So please excuse me for this and hopefully in the next tutorial it will be better. I noticed this problems the first time in my Neverland album that everything isn't very sharp. Um, I hope sharp is the, the, the right word for this. Um, I try to figure this out so sorry for that. Um, I hope in the next album and in the next tutorial I have fixed this problem and we have a better quality of the video. So, sorry. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share my latest project with you. It's um, the Arctic Antarctic from Stamperia and as I saw these papers, I come up with an idea. And here is a kind of a tryout. I want to make an album in a box. Here is the album. There's a pull out, and here is the window uh, where you can look through. And like I said, this is a tryout, and this one has to be a two inch. Fine. A cute little nice and easy to handle album in a box. And this is the result. Still nice, still cute, but not small and not easy to handle. It's a big, very big album in a box. And it is from the measurements, the box nine and a quarter by nine inches, and the spine, the width is four and a half inch. Like I said, two inch or two and a quarter, and this one is four and a half. This is the front. I made this window, put and some icing paste around. Where did I have this one here? I used this icing paste, put some cheesecloth, I think. Um, this is called cheesecloth. Uh, under this, and uh, glue some cutouts. These are the spine from my box. Here I glued uh, the title from this album and two of the chipboards. This is the back side, the wolf, and the spine is with this paper. <coughs> this is the spine from the album. Here I have um, metal embellishment and I put some ribbon for a pull out in there and we can pull this out and here is the frame, the window. I set this aside. This is the actual album. The measurements are eight and three quarters by eight and a quarter and the spine is about four inch. This is the front. I keep this one uh, really simple because it has to fit in our box so nothing has to interfere to the pull in and pull out. I fussy cut some cutouts and here again I 
glued the title of the album. This is the spine with some bookbinders linen and this is the back side. The inside of the album has four main pages. On the inside cover we have a big pocket with an easy booklet. I used here all my leftovers and two picture mats. Page number one is the page with the blue whale. I do on this album the same as I do on my Moon and Me. I put some clear sheet pages and I used here the icing paste, put this like a frame around. Here are some art pebbles and some cutouts and when you turn this you have the same on the back side and for this I copied these papers and I um, mirrored them, print them out, cut them out so I have the perfect fit for my back side. This one I leave it plain. You can put a picture on it but I leave it plain for the illusion that this blue whale is diving into the ocean. The inside, all the four main pages has for these the same construction. We have the clear sheet and we have here a layout with some leftovers and some chipboards, a place for a photo. Here we have um, a kind of a flip pocket and there are three picture mats inside and on the inside here we have place for two more photos. On every of these four pages there are a pull out for some pictures and I made here a pull out with some ribbon and the four picture mats you can later on read the word pole for North Pole or South Pole on page number two we have this one with a magnetic closure and you can flip this. Here I made this one with some leftovers. You can flip this again and inside of these we have three big pockets with some magnetic closure here and if you open this one you have place for three more photos and here we have a big pocket there you can put some picture mats inside or maybe some more photos we close this and here again with a magnetic closure page number three is the one with the penguins. Here again, some icing paste, some cutouts. Here I put the snow paste. I have also the snow paste and make kind of a snowy cloud. And here also a little bit of snow and here a little bit of snow. Same on the back side, like uh, the blue whale page. Uh, here again some easy, only the decoration and again here we have our photo frame 
place for some journaling. The flip pocket with the three photo mats and here we have two pages, uh, two photos in landscape. Page number four is this one. This is the first waterfall in this kind of construction I made. I can do this next time a little bit better. It's very wobbling, but like I said, first time first try and you can open this this is magnetic and then here you have something to pull and here is our waterfall normally I cover these strips with some papers but in this case I leave it black because this is the fitting for a picture and if you glued your pictures on, the strips are no longer visible. So I leave it black. For me it's okay. And if I close this, I don't see the black edges. Page number five is the page with the wolves. Um, on this page I have to cheat a little. On both page, page number... Um, four and five, no, this is no, five and six, sorry, I have to cheat a little. I made here again the icing paste and the snow paste and this one should be the illusion from um, ice who breaks out of the water and normally a wolf will hold in to the moon in the night. So I need some papers in the background who is in the night and in this paper collection Arctic and Arctic there is nothing with some night sky and I used also the moon from the moon and me from Ciao Bella and I glued these yeah, uni universe paper on, so if you close this, that looks a little bit like a night, a sky in the night. And when you open this up, again here you have your place for the picture, here you can journal, here is some cutouts, and this one is loose. So you can glue your pictures or slide your pictures behind. We have our pocket flap and here again two pictures. Page number six is again something I um, never made before. On the inside, I cut out one of these cutouts from the paper collection and I open this envelope and put two of these nice little cards inside. The closure is also magnetic and if you open the first flap, you have a pop-up frame. I have made some cutouts and some layout with the wolves and some icebergs in the background. The, this background is also from the paper collection Moon and Me. And here also the moon and the um, cloud. And here I have only glued some clear sheets for a clear picture frame where you can slide your photos under and you can close this and you open the next page 
and here I made with some leftovers the background like um, a patchwork these round ones you can open this and you have place for four little photos here you can journal something the names of the people who's on the photo or something I don't know a little story about the photo and this all closes magnetic next page is the ice bear here again the icing paste I made a layout with some stones and snow and here the iceberg and the bear same as the back side here again I leave it plain place for some photo for some journaling again our flap pocket with the three picture mats and here we have in landscape again place for two photos the last page is this one here you can place some photos if you like this one is magnetic and the closure for this page you can turn this and then when you open this one here's a place for two photos in the middle I made two pockets and they are uh, storage solution for more photos I put all these nice little cards inside and I don't glue them on cardstock because the back side of these cards are so beautiful and it was a shame to cover this all up so I leave it and put this here inside Now we turn this and we close this with the magnet and everything is shut and it holds down. The last is the cover inside and here I made again a big pocket, some easy booklet for more photos. You can put more photos or some photo mats inside and I covered up a black envelope and put every cut out I have here inside so later on when you glued all your photos in or you have I don't know you want to decorate a little bit more you can do this with all these leftovers and this one goes into here we close our album. Here are these pullouts, these photo mats. Put this back inside. There is a tutorial for this one, and I hope you like this. And be my guest on the next journey for the next project. See you there. Bye bye.